Welcome to China Plus 2024. I'm your host, Kelly. I hope you are having a great time so far. Right now, I'm standing at the booth of Clarion, and today we have invited a very special and distinguished guest with us today, Mr. Zhou. Standing beside me is the BD manager of the company. Hello, Mr. Zhou. Yeah, nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Would you like also say hi to our audience today? Hi, everyone. This is Wayne Zhou from Clarion, and welcome to our booth. Yes, welcome to the booth. The booth number is 8.2 F32. Yeah. First of all, I would uh, like to ask something for our audience. Yes. So, what are some of the challenges that has been facing in this industry? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a very good question. So, obviously, I think everybody now is talking about electrical vehicle, right? Yes. Electrical vehicle definitely is a very, very hot topic. Yes. But definitely, we are facing a lot of challenges in, in this industry. Yes. For example, everybody is talking about higher charging, fast speeder. Mm -hmm fast charging at higher voltage. Mm -hmm. So this brings a lot of, uh, let's say, safety concerns for yeah. this industry. Mm -hmm. And also, so a lot of the electrical vehicles we're talking about is really to reduce the emission because of the com compared to the uh, internal combustion engine cars, yes. we're talking about the emission reduction. Huh? Mm -hmm. But here, is the material really sustainable? Really sustainable, really healthy for the whole society, for the whole industry, this is another question. So this actually really matters for the whole chemistry industry. Yeah. Especially really matters for our upstream additives, which we think we can contribute a bit to this. Yeah. So let's say high performance, sustainability, and safety concern. This will be the very challenge for this industry. Yeah. Yes. And I'm guessing Claret has an, uh, solutions for these problems today at the Yes. yes. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> we almost, obviously we're preparing for it and uh, we are ready to launch some of the new products. To showcase today, To course. showcase during our booth, since. Yes. So why don't we go to some products today that's being in the booth today? Yes, why yeah. not? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Shall we go this way? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's go. We see um, this very interesting cartoon that is done by our team, that's uh -huh. the Claren team. We see there is a lot of uh, parts that can be used yes. uh, in the electrical vehicle, right? And you see, like high voltage connectors, we see a lot of uh, components that in the electrical vehicle that actually is has very high risk uh, of getting fired. So compared to um, in internal combustion engine cars, so I, we, we call it ISO, ICE, sets this additional battery is really the fire risk so everybody talking about higher density, so fast charging, and this really brings some safety risk, safety concern. When you're charging or you're driving at high speed or very high energy density. So therefore, a lot of parts is under, we, we call it a high voltage condition. And then battery has a lot of energy inside. We see, we were talking about higher energy density. Therefore, a battery is really a, a so-called, or people, at least people concerned as a dangerous source of the ele electrical vehicle. There, our flame retardants can be compounds into the materials, into the polymers, which are actually very easy to be burned. Yes. For example, like polyamide or poly, poly, or PBT, said using, using high voltage connectors, or battery module housing and the structural parts, or the battery housings, for yeah. example. And also some thermal sets materials. We know that with the higher integration level, a lot of uh, like adhesive or coatings will be used. So for the epoxy or PU based material, it's, it's very good to be fired. So we also can contribute um, the, the flame retardancy into these polymer materials. So this will be our showcase. And specifically, we had um, um, a local plant here in China, yeah. which will produce a local exolid because in, in old time that we, we, are, we are import our material here. So we will have a local plant and it is it's roughly or launched here in local. And Exoid OP1420TP. This is one of the products that we want to launch and this will be produced in our Diabe local plant. So this will be heavily enhanced the safety performance of the high voltage connector. So you see the orange ones. The orange is the this, connector. Yeah, this is the connectors. Yeah. So we are gonna showcase the the um, our flame retardants, our local produce mm -hmm. flame retardant with higher 
uh, we call it electrical performance to handle with so-called fast charging environment. So this will be our products that will be highlighted today. No? Thank you. No. It is definitely the highlight to today. Yes. And I'm also seeing there is another place that over there attract a lot of audience today. Yeah. Will you? Would you like to take us all, all yes. over there? Yes. Yes. Well? No problem. Thank you. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Now that we've come to the showcase of local production size of Clarence, so Mr. Zhou, will you? Yes, of course. So. We actually mentioned a lot of flame titan products and, and also I emphasized the local production in the previous clip. And actually you can see here that we have uh, three local plants here. Yeah. And the Daya Bay, this is the Huizhou plant that was, was launched last year, was emphasized because this is basically our first flame titan production site in China. So we talk about the high performance, we talk about also the sustainability. So actually, the sustainability is very important. So besides our high performance Exod OP, we also produce the Exod OP Terra in Knapsack in our Germany, in our, yes. in our German site. So that is a carbon emission reduction version of Exod OP. So it's, it is, can be helpful to the whole value chain to reduce the, the carbon emission. So basically, we can call it like target scope one, scope two, and scope three. And this will be helpful for the whole value chain. And for the Daya Bay, we are using 100% green electricity set to even to blow down the PCF. So we call it print circuit, yes. print product of the carbon footprint. So to further to decrease. So this is also a benefit to, um, to the whole value chain in terms of the sustainability. So then the localization is also very important since we have a local plant set the, the, the lead time and of course the supply situation and the cost performance we can provide much higher level than, than one that was imported to, to China. So yes. these local plants will be very very important for us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I wish there are more uh, local production sites in the, maybe in the upcoming years. Yes, yes. So we, we are really evaluating the further investment here in China, but, but Claren has already invested 300 million Swiss franc in last years in China. So, so this will be very, very important battlefield for us, China. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thanks for sharing with us today. So uh, last but not least question, Claren has been uh, friends with China Plus for a long time. So I was wondering why China Plus? Is there any significant spinning of Yes, yes, definitely. So I think China Plus is, you see the people going around and this is really a, a, an industry set ceremony for, for, for plus industry. So we see the whole value chain is here mm -hmm. and this is even more convenient for us uh, to communicate with or between the value chains. It's our customers, the stakeholders in the value chain. Sometimes we will meet even some OEM friends and colleagues, so which will give very, very healthy, very, very important suggestion to us that is good to the whole industry. So I think China Plus is, is really a good platform Thank you. that make the industry um, uh, grow a progress in a healthy way. That everybody understand the trend, everybody can, can enjoy it because a lot of technical commercial discussions, a lot of deals are made here. So of course, I, I just wish that China Plus would be um, better and better in the following years. Me too. We also wish Claret can be better and better in the future. And yes. thank you for the trust and support. Yeah, thank and you. And for all the sharing. Yes. So audience and friends, if you are interested, you are very welcome to the boost of Claret. Yeah. The boost number is 8.2 F32. And also our online friends can review the information on China Plus Live Platform. Thank you. Mm.